Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you recall, a couple of years ago, I dropped a video review of this Teleson T02 remote for GoPro cameras. This model supports the GoPro 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And I've been using this on my bike for the last couple of years to help me control my GoPro that I have on my helmet whenever I'm out on a ride and just trying to get footage or I'm doing a moto vlog. It's been really helpful for me. And now, Teleson has released the T10 model, which supports the GoPro 8, 9, 10, and the Max. So let's open this up, take a look, and see how it compares to the T2. Inside the box of the Teleson T10 remote, we'll find the remote itself, You'll see this Lycra wrist strap. This is newly redesigned from the T2 remote. It's much more comfortable than the one that came with that. You won't be able to use this to affix the remote to your motorcycle, though. You're going to need some stiffer Velcro for that. You also have instructions, and this is the charging cable. Now, this plugs into any USB charger you might have laying around, like for your phone or whatever. But what you'll notice on the back of the remote here this does not have a USB-C or a micro USB um, connector. It's a proprietary magnetic connector. Some people may complain about that, but to be honest with you, this is a much better solution because with this, this unit is waterproof. So yeah, you can stick this on your bike, you can ride around in the rain, and you'll be able to work your remote, uh, work your GoPros. Let's take a look at this compared to the old model, which you'll see here. Get this out of the way. You'll notice that the two remotes are about the same size. The new one, the T10, is just slightly bigger. I mean, it's almost not even noticeable than the uh, T2. So I'm going to go ahead and power these on. I'm going to hold down the power button. And you can see, whoops, this battery's running low on this one, but you can see uh, the difference in the displays. The T10, the display is much bigger, it's much brighter than the, uh, the T2. They both have the same four buttons, they're arranged a little different, and they're a little different shape. Um, this one's actually on the T10 a little easier to, to work. You have a little bit better uh, or larger contact area per button than you do on the T10 just by the layout. So you have a button for settings, a button for power and mode. There's a favorites button here, and then the top button up here is the record. So both remotes control up to five cameras at one time. You can power them all on. You hit the record button. All five cameras will start recording at the same time. They uh, both also display the battery life for the remote as well as the camera. Obviously, you're not seeing it on this one because I disconnected the camera from here so I connect, could connect it to this one. Speaking of which, in order to connect your camera, it's a very simple process. You simply hold the settings button down for three seconds to put it in pairing mode. Then on the back of your GoPro, go to connections, tell it, uh, select the remote from the connections display, and the two will connect. And that's it. So now let's take this, put it on the bike, and go for a ride and check it out. Okay, we're out riding a little bit here. I have the, uh, the Teleson remote affixed here to my handlebars. I'm not sure actually how I'm going to have this set up, but just for this test, I'm actually just using some Velcro that I had, putting it through the slots there in the back where the wristband goes, and got it stuck pretty darn securely here to my, my handlebar. So as you can see, it's uh, it's running right now. I don't know if you can see that. I'm, my camera's on wide. I can't really lean into it too much here because I've got to pay attention to the road. But you can definitely see the counter on the screen there. So I, that tells me that the, the GoPro is actually recording and it tells me how long it's been recording. And that's pretty cool. I mean, that, that's a really good visual to have. I don't know if uh, any of you guys have had the issue that I've had sometimes when I'm out <laughs> motive logging. Okay, I'm going to be careful here. A little 
sharp turn there. Anyway, I don't know if you've had the problems I've had sometimes when I'm out motor vlogging and I'll be on a trip, you know, and I'm riding for, I don't know, a couple of hours in between breaks or whatever, and I've turned the camera on or off, or at least I thought I had, but what's happened is I've actually put it in the other the other uh, status. So there are times when I think I've turned it off after I've been recording, the camera's actually still on. So then the rest of the time on that ride, or while that battery's still good, it's either running when I don't know that it is, burning down the battery, or uh, every time I turn it on to capture something, I'm actually turning it off, and then I hit it again to turn it off, but I'm actually turning it on. So it, it's a total pain in the ass, turtle crossing. It's a total pain in the ass, and it can really, really ruin your day when you get to the hotel or, or back to the house or whatever, and you're super excited to go look at all that awesome footage that you captured and uh, the vlog that you did, and then you find out, I don't have it. Well, with this, you can actually see the timer. So I know it's in record mode. The other thing is I can see the battery indicator for the GoPro and the remote, which is super, super cool. Because as that battery starts getting low on the GoPro, it's good to know how much you know juice I've got left. And then if I'm at a, a rest stop or see a rest stop, I can pull over and, and uh, change the battery out. So that's really good. But I can't show you this. I've got the GoPro running now. Uh, the way I turned it on, the remote was off and the GoPro was off. So what I did was I held down the power button for like three seconds. That turned both the remote and the GoPro on. And then when I was ready to record, I just hit the record button right up there at the top. And then that turned the, uh, the GoPro onto record mode, which is where I am now. Uh, you've also got a couple of other controls here for preferences. You can switch the mode that the camera's in off the remote. Not something I don't think I'm going to use a lot while I'm motor vlogging, but definitely, you know, if you're off the bike and you're walking around with your GoPro or, or you know, like right now this is connected to my 8 that's on my helmet, I can also connect this remote to my 9, which is what I have on my Joby stick that I use when I'm walking around off bike to record so I can record I can control both GoPros with this this remote so when I'm off bike then I can you know set the camera up uh, go as much as what's the range I think it's 80 meters away from the camera with the remote I can use the button here to switch mode so I can switch it to photo and take a picture, switch it back to video, switch to time lapse, do whatever I want with the remote. So I dig it. The other remote that I had, the other Telesen, the O2, Telesen O2 model that worked with the 5, 6, 7, and 8, I used that a lot over, what if I had that for maybe a year and a half or so. Uh, super nice to have this one now. So this is the T, it 10? And this one, so I'll put the model up on the screen here if that's not the T10, but um, this supports, again, the GoPro 8, 9, 10, as well as the, uh, the Max, the 360 camera that GoPro has. Now, ideally, you can, con you can connect up to five GoPros at the same time, and I think I'm going to try this out either in June or July. I may actually try it out, well, I'm going to try it out before, but I may actually use that feature at the FDBM meetup, Five Dirty Bikers meetup in July, because I want to have um, my other Go, you know, several GoPros running, maybe one in the front, one in the back, uh, one down by my foot, and uh, then I'll be able to control all those with, with this. So as we're on a group ride, I'll be able to hit this button to turn them all on and then hit this button to start the recording on all of the cameras that I'm using on the bike. And I'll be able to get different angles in. That's, that's really cool to be able to do that uh, while you're riding. All right, while you're riding, think about that. Uh, I can just push a button, turn them on, push a button to record. 
record for a couple of minutes or however long I want and then I can stop the record I can power everything off as well to make sure that I'm not wasting my battery power on any of the GoPros that's cool I like it I'm gonna be rocking this Telson remote for my GoPros from now on uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my other one I may actually keep my other one because I've got some old fives that uh, you know GoPro 5 sessions hero sessions that I might use in July so I can have that remote uh, up here too and then control those older models with that one I think that's cool so Telson rocking product cheaper than the GoPro equivalent uh, really nice piece again I don't know if I think I mentioned it earlier the, some people will complain because it doesn't charge with USB-C it has a proprietary magnetic charger but you know you want that you want that to be able to, to maintain its uh, waterproof state while you're out riding in the rain I mean if you had a USB-C port think about it USB-C port exposed there it, it wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be water resistant or waterproof would it get all wet and freak out anyway so now I can tell I've been talking for eight minutes and five seconds that's too long I'll have to cut some of this stuff out you guys have a good one I'll put a link to this remote in my in the description of the video below that'll be an Amazon affiliate link if you're interested in the remote I would uh, really appreciate it if you click that link to go check it out on Amazon and you know if you want to buy one then you know, if you buy it from there I think I would make uh, 7.5 cents off each one that sold on Amazon but you know what seven cents adds up over time so that's a good way to support your favorite youtuber that you're watching right now this minute right all right you guys have a good one this guy's well thankfully he's slow because then you know I'm going slow anyway you guys have a good one I'll talk to you next time till then peace and now I'm going to use my Telson remote to uh, try hit this curve. I'm going to hit the stop record, and then I'm going to hit the power to turn it on.